Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Najwa. I'm so happy you're here. If you're new here, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so you know whenever I post a video. So today we're going to talk about Taylor Swift basically telling Donald Trump, get my name out your mouth. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do a Will Smith and Chris Rock reference. It's just, that's going to be funny for forever. <laughs> um, so basically, you know, like, there has been all of this pop, and you guys know how I feel about Donald Trump. If you don't, just go look at my videos about him. Um, there has been a lot of propaganda, AI-generated content online, making it seem like Taylor Swift supports MAGA. And um, I find this to be really, really hilarious because in this time right now where America can quite potentially, quite literally become the handmaid's tale, be become a uh, slavery, uh, transatlantic slave trade 2.0, um, you know, quite literally during, during this time, uh, a lot of people have been afraid to speak out and speak the truth. And I think that Taylor Swift, um, I think she tried to pay, play the field for as long as she could. I think she just tried to stay strum as a lot of people, you know, you can even see from that, that statement for, and this is not based on a particular color or anything, even based on what for, or gender or anything, based on what Pharrell said, you know, how he's rebuking celebrities who come out and um, endorse a, a presidential candidate. Do you not understand that if you, if we don't elect Kamala Harris, like there will be no more United States of America. There will be no more. There will just be a monarchy and it will literally be slavery again. It will literally be like stoning women for showing their legs again, you know. So um, I think it's hit, it's hitting that boiling point. People see that Donald Trump is unfit on every level, mentally, uh, physically. You know, they're saying like he's suffering from dementia and you can see it from his, the way he performs his rallies. He's a misogynist. He's a racist. He's every ist that you can think of. Um, not to mention a sexual abuser. He is uh, a known white supremacist and, and pardons and excuses white supremacy. He tried to overthrow a free and fair election and and led an insurrection one we haven't seen since uh, of this scale since the civil war and 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 is saying he's going to pardon all those people who stormed the capitol on january 6 and has a january 6 anthem you know it's like <laughs> this is gonna only get worse you know it's gonna continue to get worse and and uh, th there are people who basically just want to not say anything but you have to like we're we're in that moment you know of like 1929 when the germans had to make a decision and unfortunately in 1929 the germans made the wrong decision and they found that out in 1945 uh possibly earlier than that so um taylor swift she has come out and she has endorsed kamala harris so here i have an article from cnbc it says taylor swift endorses kamala harris for president after debate with donald trump um, it's, this is uh, from Dan Mangan, and it's published Tuesday, September 10th, 2024. It says, pop, pop superstar Taylor Swift endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris for president on Tuesday night, minutes after the Democratic nominee finished a contentious debate with Donald Trump. And I have to say, I feel like there was a reason for that. I feel like a lot of people are seeing Kamala Harris, because before this, I, I think a lot of people didn't really know who she was. They're seeing her in action, and then they're like... Okay, I got it. Even people who were lukewarm on Joe Biden, which I cannot get. I cannot get that why people force Joe Biden out. He's delivered on resorts, he, results. He's delivered on the economy. He's not a, 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 a white supremacist or uh, all those other ists that we, we mentioned. He is trying to bring labor back to the U.S. He's trying to create more jobs and more um um, products to be made in the U.S. and not tax people out the wazoo on them. He's trying to extend tax credits to people. He is making sure that we're following the book when it comes to NATO and our military uh, alliances. I, I could go on and on. He's building roads and bridges under the Infrastructure Act. He's bringing the, the creation of uh, all the electronics and, and, and vehicles and all the things that we depend on and rely on, the production of them back home. Um, but still people just could not get over the fact that this man had a stammer and he was old. So, um, you know, I was completely behind Joe Biden. They forced him out. I hated that, but I'm behind 
uh, Kamala Harris 100% and I've volunteered, I've donated, and I will continue to um, help do everything I can to help get her elected, help her and Tim Walz get elected because this is, this is bigger than Republican or Democrat right now vote Democrat this year and or there is just no Republican Democrat or even United States to speak of. So um, Taylor Swift said, I'm voting for Kamala, at Kamala Harris. This is what she said on Instagram because she fights for the rights and causes I believe need a warrior to champion champion them. Swift said in a statement posted on her Instagram account, which has more than 280 million followers, I think she is a steady-handed, gifted leader, and I believe we can accomplish so much more in this country if we are led by calm and not chaos. Um, I, she goes on to say, I was so heartened and impressed by her selection of running mate Tim Walls, who has been standing up for LGBTQ rights, IVF, and women's rights to, own, to her own body for decades, and a woman's rights and a woman's right to her own body for decades, sorry. Um, it goes on and she, she signed it a childless cat lady and this was a stab at J.D. Vance who made the comment that Democrats uh, is run by childless cat ladies and they're trying to make America miserable as miserable as them. Um, and the article goes on and speaks more on sort of that AI element and how you know, basically the reason that Taylor Swift had to come out and basically say herself in her own words, I'm voting for Kamala Harris um, because people had been AIing photos of her and, and, and uh, making it seem like she was on the side of MAGA, which was an easy shot, low hanging fruit. She's a skinny, uh, single white female, blonde Southern female who grew, for, grew to fame from country music you know, and is now a champion, probably one of the biggest um, selling artists among young, old, you know, white women, to let's just be frank. Um, they just thought that they got an easy pick right here to push their Aryan Nation 2.0 um, onto the public. But she basically had to come out and rebuke that. Um, you've actually got a lot of Swifties who are MAGA. Like, I... <laughs> I have seen them. I've seen you guys on Kick TikTok and, and Instagram and YouTube. So I know that they exist. Um, and I think that this is probably going to present a very interesting and existential question for them. As it does for all of us, you know, like this is this is a race where all of us are concerned. But um, I do want to say, I, while I commend what Taylor Swift has done um, in endorsing Kamala Harris, I wish it wasn't always so late in the game. You know, she, she endorsed Biden Harris as well. And I got to say, I'm so happy for it. I'm so happy that um, she she has come out on the side of democracy because in these past two election cycles, it, it really has been fascism versus democracy. What I don't like, and this is more of, uh, I guess, maybe a shade at Swifties, not necessarily Taylor Swift. Um, and I have a whole different set of thoughts about Swifties you know it's just even Selena Gomez's fans sometimes these fans get a little um obsessive I, I don't love this fan culture where people sometimes cross the line over into obsessive and they become like a, 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 a military base of soldiers you know and it just is kind of some sometimes scary but I would say I wish that a lot of Swifties would have made this decision independently without having to have had you know their queen taylor swift come out and make this decision um and them follow suit you know i wish um and that's just generally speaking i mean like this election is really going to come down to white liberal women of all ages it's like are they going to come and help us not make america into a handmaid's tale or not you know um I think that we would love to say white men, you know, like this election could come down to white men. But I mean, so, so sadly, so many white men and men of all races, honestly, have just said they're sticking with Donald Trump and they're not turning away. I mean, I have a friend who is white. She's married to a black man and he's a veteran and he was at the VA center and she ran into an older black man. This is in Atlanta where I grew up and, um, you know, I grew up in Atlanta. I was born in Alabama, so I'm from the South. And uh, my friend was saying she ran into this older black man at the VA hospital and he was talking about how he was going to vote for Donald Trump. 
you know so it's it's not just white men it, it, it's I think it's a mentality but I, I'm really glad that Taylor Swift came out and she put her foot down she said this is what she's gonna do and she did it and um, I'm glad that she continues to do that I really hope that she um, gets engaged to Travis Kelce. I mean, that's a whole nother story, but I hope that she goes ahead and settles that. Take that ring, girl. You know you want it. And, um, you know, I hope that Swifties will stand behind Kamala Harris as well as all men and women of different um, ethnicities, different races, different religions, different, different creeds, different backgrounds. Um, will vote for Kamala Harris because again that is the choice between fascism and democracy but I want to know what you guys think what do you think about Taylor Swift um going ahead and endorsing Kamala Harris uh what did you think about what Pharrell even said you know rebuking celebrities who are endorsing candidates how do you feel about Swifties you know following suit behind Taylor do you think that they should have got on board a little bit earlier even if uh their queen of music had not endorsed Kamala Harris officially yet um, let me know what you think in the comments and again if you're new here go ahead hit the like subscribe button hit that bell so you know whenever I post a video and I will see you guys next time bye